1247 now. Let's get a check of that first morning weather forecast. We're starting to see those temperatures increase. Also a little bit more cloud cover out there. Yeah, that's all thanks to the humidity increasing here as well. So we got the moisture in the atmosphere, increasing the cloud cover across the area. So that's pretty much the trend going forward here. Maybe gotcha. even some rain chances next week here too, Randy. But uh, don't worry about the rain so much today because overall it's looking pretty very it's looking pretty low here. Uh, we just got some increasing clouds that we're dealing with here right now. Let's get a live look at the bigger picture and you can see the cloudy skies mainly back to the west of us still, but it is moving into our general direction. We're watching a uh, trough of low pressure back to the west of us. As a matter of fact, increasing the cloud cover here, and that's why locally we're starting to see some evidence of increasing clouds across southeastern Louisiana. Temperatures are currently into the 80s. We got 82 in Hammond, also in Kenner, Bell Chase at 81, Lakefront at 82 degrees. Heading off to day two of Jazz Fest, things are looking good. Temperatures low to mid 80s and overall mixed clouds and sunshine. Temperatures into the low to mid 80s across the South Shore as well. Mostly cloudy skies here. North Shore, you're looking at highs today, low to mid 80s, partly to mostly cloudy weather conditions. And getting back to the bigger picture, you can see that warm southeasterly wind coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, helping to increase our cloud cover for the most part here today. We will be looking at some cloudier conditions though. I'm thinking as we head into overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, but I do think though by the time we reach tomorrow afternoon, much of the cloudy skies begin to decrease in coverage. We'll see a little bit more sun potentially across some some locations and then overnight as we head into early on Sunday morning, Things uh, clear out here once again, still working with that southeasterly wind. Some of those showers could develop along that southeasterly breeze here as well, along that moisture gradient, and we could be looking at some little bits of uh, showers, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder for parts of the North Shore as we head into Sunday afternoon. Watch out for that, but for the most part, again, rain chances looking pretty low. Watching for showers and storms back to the west of us as we head into Sunday night. Here's Monday morning, and you can see it beginning to move in across parts of uh, northwestern Louisiana. Louisiana. And the thinking is, according to some of the models at least, is that if this uh, holds together, they could make their way into southeastern Louisiana. My rain chances for the most part heading into Monday are looking pretty slim, but we'll watch out for that system as it nears us. Here's Tuesday afternoon, and I think we may see some better rain chances across southeastern Louisiana with this next system here approaching us, and that could provide some rain and some thunderstorms for us to work with. Again, with that southeasterly wind helping to increase moisture at the same time. Here's Wednesday afternoon, and much of the rain still well focused back to the north. That continues as we head into Thursday with a slight chance of rain here in the forecast for Thursday afternoon. And evening. I checked out your WDSU first morning seven day forecast and we got those highs remaining into the mid 80s under mostly cloudy weather conditions for the next several days. Breezy to somewhat windy conditions today through Sunday. Not as breezy or windy as we head into next week. Mostly cloudy skies there with highs still remaining into the mid 80s. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms for Monday, but better storm chances I think here on Tuesday. Less rain and storm chances Wednesday and Thursday with those highs still into the mid 80s. Low temperatures into the 60s and low 70s.